So we're here to solve this NANRO by David Altizio called 12 hexominoes, and paired with those 12 hexominoes look to be four heptominoes, so overall 100 cells taken. The one in the bottom looks the most suspicious, and that's because from connectivity, we only have one more cell to go in the space. We're gonna have to quickly come through and take that for this to work. Um, but another thing that I'm seeing is a tension across these like touching threes as an instance. So I'm not able to use these cells, not able to use that cell. This three has to connect to the rest of something. So it's gotta come all the way over to the right. That's gonna force it to work with this four clue. These threes don't wanna touch. These twos don't wanna touch. Are there other touching numbers at this moment? This four and this four don't wanna touch. So what does that actually mean? This four and this four looks like the next place to look. And that's because it also has a tension of this two of this two. So if I actually had turned on uh, something I often do in paper, like edge helper mode, I know this is an X here. These are X's across this space. And so this four has to work through this region and only this region to then connect to this or to this. And I only have one more cell to take from this two. So if I took like this cell, I'm in trouble because I have to reach to another border. So the only cell I see that I can take is this cell here. And marking all those in, I do connect into this three group like so, but this four now has to come this way to stay connected. And these get marked off. This gets marked in. This looks like an okay start. This group though now is pretty limited. I've got to take this cell, but that completes this three. That's coming across to make this group a size four. For this to stay connected, I can't only take this cell because I can't reach any further. I've got to take this channel and that marks these in, marks this off, marks this in for connectivity. I've got a group of size four near a group of size four, so this now has to grow to be as large as five. Mark this in, mark this off. These gr this group of size three must take these cells. Connectivity still forces this, and that completes this shape. And now joining into this group of size five, I've got to come down here with this to make this work. I always had to take this cell to get up to four and the cell to get to five. Looks like if I take this, I have two by two rules marking off these cells and I break the connectivity. So instead I don't take that cell, I take this and I have to take this for connectivity. Um, let's sort of see now from this stage, I've got to work through this channel for this to stay connected and I've got to work through this three clue to make this happen. If I don't take this cell, I come this way, but I'm not gonna connect down to this bottom group. So I do have to take this cell and in taking this, I only have one more, and I've got to touch to a border to this bottom group. And so this is the only one that works, not this one. So this group is now connected. That marks these in. I've got four filled in. I uh, need one more to get that whole shape working. In this case, this group right now is a size three. It's touching to a group of size five. It can't grow as large as size six, I don't think. One, two, three, four, five, six. That would take all these. So this has to be a group of size four. So I have one more to take from it and it has to connect to this number or we're not getting the group to stay connected. And so here the question is, does this come this way or this way? Uh, notice if it comes this way, this three can't connect to this in any sense. So it has to come to the top, but this three still needs an efficient path into this two. So that's one of these cells and this cell. And this group still needs to connect to the rest. So that forces this and this for connection with the last shaded cell and we're through this fun challenge. So thanks David for writing this puzzle. Thanks to you all for watching this video and I hope you got a sense of how to work around the grid, including seeing some of these key tension points. I think this upper left corner where the fours that dodge and the twos that dodge set up this key cell. Uh, this is uh, one of the most important ones to spot in the solve and the rest really flows well from there if you see it. Thanks, we'll see you again soon.